Hi folks, welcome to Local Hamster. Today I got the unboxing of this iPhone case for uh, children. I figure I uh, get this one for Marcus because uh, he's only one, but the other one is just too bulky. It's not something I can just put it, put it in, a, in a diaper bag or something. And it's designed for the iPhone 3G, 3GS, 4, or the 4S. It's called the Activity Tough Case. It costs about $15 retail price. Oh, yeah, let's see. Small parts may be dangerous for children zero to three years old. Well, there's only one way to find out. I gotta open it up and check out the parts. I got the iPhone 5 for myself and the iPhone 3G. Well, it's gonna be retired. I'm not sure what to uh, do with it yet, but when I saw that Marcus keep fighting with me for my iPhone 5, I figured I might as well get him my old iPhone to play. The dimensions are pretty large, but once I take it off, I'll guess that most of it is due to the, the cushioning. Oh boy. They really packed it in there. And what I really like is how you have the option of blocking out the home button or not. Because Marcus, he really likes to play um, sneezies. So he always holds the, uh, the iPhone this way and keeps pressing the home button. And when he brings himself back to the home screen, he passes the phone back to me and wants me to bring up Sneezy again. It's all this coming from a child that's 13 months, almost 14 months old. Hmm, here's a, these are the three things that came in the box. A operations manual, some silicon case or something, holder, and then the actual activity case. As for the manual, consumer information, how to open the case. Let's see, this is a press the button, flip number two, and voila, it's opened. Oh, device inserts. Oh, so with this device insert, it can also support the iPod, iPod Touch. Yes, right, first. Let me first try to open this up. Press this here, and ah, huh, okay. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Oh, it comes with a plastic uh, protection screen, so. Basically, I don't need anything like a like a visible shield protector or anything for his iPhone. Let me first. Uh, how should I install this? This iPhone insert, an iPod insert. The iPod insert has large cushions, and the iPhone insert has smaller cushions. Okay, so this one was meant for the iPod. This one is for the iPhone. They're also numbered. On the back, to the right side is number one. The left side, number two. Number two is for the iPod. Oh, there's a, uh, I gotta line it up properly actually. See how over here is, is uh, has a short gap and over here. So the one with the lo longer gap faces outward. Okay. It's that, that. Okay, on the side over here, it doesn't close it all the way. And if you look in, it has a little opening. It, show, it ex partially exposes the, the speaker, so they can still get some sound. The camera is exposed, and there's the uh, the headphone. So with the way I position it, I can still press the home button over here. Let me turn the unit on for a minute. Right. Okay. Let's see if I can... Well, all the touch still works. Everything... 
is uh, pretty fine. It's, I don't see any issues with the touch, with the sensitivity. I'm just going to head back to the home screen. Home button still works. Oh, as for the important test, I'm blocking the home button. Let me just flip the the iPhone. Let me flip it so that a home is this way. Okay. Now the uh, thicker plastic piece is down here, so if I were to launch like um, was that Dizzy B or was that Sneezies, any of those games, Marcus won't be able to press the home button to escape. All right. Well, so as far as so far, I think that it's, it's a good buy. Uh, my only complaint is that. Over here, with this uh, such a large gap, I hope that he just doesn't pry this open or anything. Uh, so, so that later on, if I ever want to turn the unit off, it'd be nice if there's a little hole over here um, or on this side so that I can always um, press the home button. Marcus might press it, but at least when he's playing a game, when he's playing something, he won't press it himself, holding it this way. But I do like how this home button is blocked. Well, this was the Fisher Price Kid Tough, the uh, Kid Tough Aptivity case, and it's made for the iPhone 3, 3G, 3GS, 4, 4S, or any of the fir 1, 2, 3 versions of the 1, 2, 3, 4 versions of the iPod Touch. Well, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to send to me. Thanks for watching, Walker Hamster. Bye.